Hello, this is our science teacher Tim Martin, and in this video we'll talk about Eratosthenes and how he measured the circumference of the Earth 2,200 years ago. We'll also talk about how you can measure this today. Eratosthenes was an educated individual of Greek descent. At the time, like many other educated individuals, he spent some time in Alexandria, Egypt. While in Alexandria, Egypt, he read of a well a little further south in the country located in the city of Sin. This well apparently was a very deep and straight well. He read that one time each year, presumably on the 21st of June, sunlight shone to the bottom of that well, indicating that there were no shadows at that time. He also knew that although the sun was high in the sky in Alexandria, he was able to observe shadows, as you can see from this small flagpole. With this knowledge, Eratosthenes knew he had what was necessary to measure the circumference of planet Earth. Let's back up a little bit and talk about some of the other things that Eratosthenes knew. Eratosthenes knew basic geometry. Now, geometry is far more than measuring lines and angles and triangles and other shapes. Take apart the word geo. Earth, metry, measurement. Geometry is the science of measuring the Earth, and Eratosthenes helped develop many of those principles. Eratosthenes knew the Earth was round. 300 years earlier, the mathematician Pythagoras helped establish the Earth was round by observing lunar eclipses. Eratosthenes knew that the sun's rays were parallel and that once a year, around the 21st of June, the sun shone to the bottom of the well in Seen. At the same time, he knew there were shadows in Alexandria, and he also knew the distance between Seen and Alexandria was approximately 5,000 stadia. That's plural for stadium, or the length of one stadium. That turns out to be approximately 925 kilometers. This measurement may be a little off because the method of measuring a great distance like this was timing how long it took traders with a camel train to make that trip. Let's take a little more look at his geometry. Eratosthenes knew that this well that was dug down in Seen likely was straight enough that it would point directly to the center of the Earth. Thus, those sun rays were pointing down towards the center of the Earth over the well in Seen, Egypt. He also knew that if he put a flagpole vertically in the ground, it too would point towards the center of the Earth. He realized that if he measured the sun angle, that angle would be equal to the central angle inside the Earth because he realized the flagpole created a transversal that crossed parallel lines. Through basic geometry, we know that the alternate interior angles, when a transversal cuts parallel lines, have equal measurements. From here, if we know the distance between Seen and Alexandria, that distance compared to the circumference of the Earth is proportional to the angular measurement to 360 degrees. Let's take a look at this a different way. I like to think about a pizza. Now imagine if you have one piece of pizza left. Let's take a protractor and measure the angular size of that pizza. Now let's take a tape measure and measure the length of the crust. Knowing the angular size of the pizza and the length of the crust. Could you figure out how far it is the whole way around the pizza? Of course. Let's imagine that this piece of pizza is 45 degrees and has a crust of 10 centimeters. Let's see, 45 is half of 90. 90 is one fourth of the pizza. So that means I have one eighth of the pizza. If I have one eighth of the pizza and the crust is 10 centimeters, I can quickly calculate that the distance around the pizza must have been 
80 centimeters. Or we can set this up mathematically. We can say the angle A, the central angle, compared to 360 degrees, is proportionally equal to the arc length D, the length of the crust, compared to the circumference of the whole pizza. This is exactly what Eratosthenes did. Once he measured the sun angle at 7.2 degrees, he knew that was equal to the angle in the center of the Earth. Comparing 7.2 degrees to 360 degrees was proportionally equal to the distance between seen in Alexandria compared to the circumference of the whole planet. Eratosthenes did this calculation 2,200 years ago and calculated the circumference of the Earth to be 250,000 stadia. Remarkably close, considering this was two millennia ago. Each year, on or around the autumnal equinox, my students repeat Eratosthenes' experiment. Rather than placing a pole in the ground and trying to get it perfectly perpendicular with the surface of the earth, we simply tie a weight onto a string. On the top of that string, we construct a flag out of tape. Then measure the length of the string from the tip of the weight to the top of the flag. As close as possible to solar noon on the equinox, that's approximately halfway between sunrise and sunset, we go out and measure the length of the shadow. Once we have these two measurements, we construct a one-tenth scale triangle using those measurements. Whether we use an electronic measuring and construction tool or make the construction with pencil and paper, and measure with a protractor, we'll measure the upper angle of the triangle, which is the sun angle, equal to the angle between our location and the location where there is a zero degree sun angle. We find the distance to the equator, since that's where the sun is shining directly overhead. For those of us in the eastern United States, we can simply look up the distance from our location to Quito, Ecuador, a sizable city in Ecuador right on the equator. With the measurement of the sun angle and the distance to a location on the equator, we then go on to calculate the circumference and then the diameter of the Earth. I'd encourage you to give this a try. And as I tell my students, when you do this, I hope your answer is better than Eratosthenes. After all, we've had 2,200 years to improve on his work. Thanks for watching.